Welcome back to Henry's Garage. Uh, in this episode, we're working on this TR7, um, and we sort out the issue I had with the door. So the door does open and shut now; it fits properly. I then went on and started doing body filler around this side of the car to try to get the shape looking presentable. Um, so I hope you enjoy. I have had a little bit of a worry. Um, my concern is when it get it back on the wheels front and back with an engine in, will it flex slightly and will that knock the door off again? Um, but I'm going to have to deal with that when I get there. Um, right now, maybe making some progress or it feels like it. We're going to have to sort this fender stroke door situation out and I've been spending my time whinging saying oh, it's not possible it's not possible how can it not fit um, well clearly it is possible because it isn't fitting so I need to stop whinging and start working out what's wrong so plan of action to try to so I think this is gonna have to come off. I think I'll have to take the fender off I really don't see what choice I have and um, so, okay, so, but, but I don't want to do that until I actually know what's wrong or have some, at least, theory as to what's wrong. So, um, and the thing I had forgotten, but I'm just going to remind everyone is when I just laid the bottom, the bonnet on top here, um, had a good, good, nice fit on the left, the other side, the right hand side. Um, but actually quite a large gap on this side. So actually that indicates that maybe this fender isn't in as much as it should be. So that's that's one thing to think about as um, I'm doing this. Um, and if it was in further, I mean, it, this is as tight as it can be here, so I don't know how we'd get it in further, but um, certainly, you know, along there, the gap wasn't real. So, so that's one thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this door on without the modified shim, but with the original shim. So fit it on as it had come off. I'm going to close it. I'm going to measure the gaps that I've got along here. I'm going to measure the gaps on the other side. Um, Chris um, has sent me some photos. Uh, so thank you, Chris. And Chris has measured the gap on his, and basically it's about eight mil so I'll check that side for eight mil hopefully I know that one opens and shuts so we'll, we'll assume it's eight we'll see how far this is off I've asked my dad also to measure the the doors on the white car up um, at his place and so I can see how far that's off as well or see what that is now if they're all in the eight mil region that will show me what I need to get here okay now, when I was saying, um, I've, I've said several times, but it fitted, it fitted when I just had it, um, you know, held on with clamps. Well, it might have fitted then, but it would have been clamped here. It was clamped to the front. Okay, but here, it was probably quite loose in reality. Oh, and I had the bolts in. Hmm, I had the bolts in. I think... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this. I'm going to see what the gap is, so that's what I say to start with. Um, I'm then going to maybe take a look at, you know, take the door off and take a look at those bolts. And is it pushed in as far as it could go? Um, or could it go in further? And if it could go in further, then that indicates that it's wrong across the top, I guess. If it's already in as far as it can go, I'm not sure what that indicates at this point. So we'll start with um, what I've said. Right, I've bolted it on. Used two at the top and two at the bottom. I haven't done all of them. Um, but, and I've taken out the top shim, but I've put in the one that was originally there on the bottom. Okay, and I have this problem over here. Let's see if I can focus in on it. 
So I don't know how well you can see that. But the door is riding in too high. It's catching on this. See, right there. So that would imply that that bottom shim is too big. I didn't actually, I don't think, particularly test it with the shims on properly. So that could have been there for a while. Now the other bit about that is if I then get it down and force it, I can't get it any more shut than that. Um, so I've got a problem there. So we are going to, oh, we're going to open the door off camera. Um, but what we'll do, I think, try to get this to fit properly first. So we'll take it off, we'll create a new shim for it, which is slightly thinner. We'll see if we can get it to shut and open. Right, so before I went through the process of making a shim, I wanted to see what it looked like um, without any shim on at all. And it will now shut, and it shuts all the way in. No, we've still got a bit of a gap there, but it's actually in. Okay, so um, that's good. Um, but it needs a slight lift in order to get it open. So it's now catching off. Before it was catching at the, um, I need to push that at the bottom. Now it's catching at the top, not quite as much. So this is the shim that was on there. And its thickness is, so that's a 10 gauge. Okay, so I reckon if I make a equivalent out of 14, that should work. So that's what we're going to try. Okay, so I've um, done another um, shim which I made out of something a tiny bit bigger than 10 gauge. No, not 10. Um, oh, what was it? What's this? And so 14 gauge I made it out of, there we go. Which I think is what I said. All right. So, and it's still just catching on the bottom. Okay, so um, better than it was, it needs just that, that little bit of pressure and it goes in okay. Okay, still catching on the bottom. Now, um, the measurement my dad came back with from the white TR7, uh, the gaps of the front are about five to six mil. So less than Chris's. Okay, and I've been looking at this, and I think if this was proud a bit more, out a bit more, and when the door opened, it would actually fit inside. But it's because it's so far in um, that it's catching. So I don't know how much those bolts are doing holding it in. And I don't know if maybe what I've done is I've ended up pulling this too tight um, or something, but I think that's the problem. I've got this too flat, needs to come out a bit. So I'm going to take the door off again so I can make a new shim so I can get that to fit properly. And I'm going to also try to loosen these up and see if I can get them, get it to come out just a little bit. Okay, I've made a shim out of 18 gauge. And I mean, the door is doesn't want to open but um, when it goes in now it goes in exactly down the middle so um, I'm going to consider that the door opening and shutting properly and in the right place 
and we've just got to work out why it gets so stuck but that's okay so we've got that now when we come back to the front I'm talking about having it too far in still. Look, if you look here, I mean, that's, this is in further, right here than the door, when it's shut, uh, that's it, when it's shut. So when it's shut, these aren't parallel. So I think this is in too tight. Even though I've got a big gap up here and the bonnet's on, I think this is in too tight. And so right here is where I actually welded a piece together. So I think, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cut along here to break these apart again. I'm going to then see if that, this will open up enough for this to come out. So the door open and shuts. Okay, now I've got, um, I've done some work around here on filler to, to get a better look. It's interesting because I thought I'd done, remember I pulled this, uh, this out as well. And I've still got quite a gap. It's interesting. So the alternative might be actually to do a cut in the door and squeeze the door together a bit because that would then get it lower on the bottom side at least, but it wouldn't do anything up top. Right, I'm going to take a break, but what I'm going to do is I think Right now I'm thinking I'm going to do a cut along here and see if that um, sorts it. I, I've got lots of plaster on here so I'll, I'll um, fill it. So if I sand that down, I should be able to see why I did the join and then cut that. Yeah. A break first. I've got one relief cut in here. And... To be honest, with that pulled out like that, I mean it looks better along the bottom here. It's still catching that top end. So I think what I'll do is I'm also going to do a deep cut up here to try to pull these out as well. And we'll go from there. So we'll have a go. Oh, I don't know if you can hear me because of this. So we'll have a go at that next. Okay, so we've got four relief cuts in there now. Okay, so we've got one here, 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 here. You can see cutting these I went into the door. This is curving a bit now, but um, I don't particularly notice it, so we'll see. And um, so I've done tack welds along here, just, just right at the end. And with those tack welds, last right, so it squeezed back in a bit. It was better before. So one of those has shrunk again. I'll have to pull it out. So it's around here. But what I've been doing is just with that. So I'm going to cut this one again, grind that down, and then try welding that one back. But it's almost, almost there now, is it? Yeah, it's just here that it's still catching up. So, yeah, so we'll cut that and have another go. We have here the door that will open and shut without hitting the fender. So, in the end, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cuts inwards. And in order to try to pull it out a bit, I also did a cut in here. And that's not really done a lot. So if you look at this from here, it's got a bit of a concave. That's okay, we're gonna deal with that with fill is what we're gonna do. Um, so tomorrow's job is going to be to take some of this paint off and have a go at trying to make that look a little bit more like a smooth finish. I also got a few welds that I need to put into the door when I've gone into it. But we'll, we'll deal with this first. And that is um, a job for tomorrow. Yesterday, 
I applied, started applying filler. This is feeling not bad. Um, I can feel a bit in here which needs some work still. And a bit here. And obviously I've got to go down the side, but I'm going to have to take the door off to do that. But this will open properly now. So by pulling this out, we've sorted it out. So today, we are going to get these edges along here done better. So we'll um, get the door off, we'll sand all of this down, and we'll try to get this bit here fixed. Um, yeah, but I think that's... Um, that's actually not too bad and so I need to work on the door as well a bit but we can do that separately and what else um, so if we do that I think what I'll then possibly move on to is a bit more of the fender um, but what we'll try to do I think is work on getting this side looking flat and stuff and move on from there but yeah let's let's finish with this first okay for the last couple of days I've been trying to get the bodywork to look okay so you can see this bit which I've started on and that I think looks okay now um, it's been over with 80 and then 180 so we still got couple of sort of scratches in there but we're going to go through a process of epoxy and then high build and then base coat and clear coat and so um, I think these will end up going a bit more worried about this but it keeps coming back so and just down here I don't know how well these are I haven't quite got that right yet, so maybe I'll, every day I get to a point and I think, right, I'm going to stop now and I come out the next day to have a look at it again and see where I want to go with it. So I'm not quite sure I'm particularly happy with this yet, and I might come back and do this again tomorrow. Um, but I've been going around the wheel arches again, and I've got a bit here which I might not be quite happy with. So... You know, when you feel your hand runs smoothly over it here, I can... Oh, I can't actually feel that. I can feel, I guess, that bit, but I can't feel the other. Um, so, yeah, so I've gone across and done that. I've done the same at the back. And I've done along here as well. This is where um, the bookcase over there, when it was a bookcase, fell and hit it. Now, um, these should be seams. There should be a definition between the panels here. But I couldn't make it look nice, so I decided not to try. Um, I went for, I'm going to fill it in. I did the same there and at the back there. And so I know a purist will not like that. Um, but I think, I think, given my skill level, we're going to live with that. I've also been going around in here get some filler on there and again I'm not happy with either of the arches yet I think they need a bit more work they actually feel okay when you're not looking but when you look they don't look so good and then I've put a bit in here as well okay and here we can see I mean I, again I'm getting a bit of pitting and then here it's really hard to really hard to sand in there so anyway um i i need to decide if i'm happy with this now for epoxy um recognizing that i will probably be adding a bit more filler after epoxy or even um you know or even high build when i've got a better look at it or i might just go to epoxy at this point because then i'll be able to see I guess the imperfections a bit better. Um, so when I, you know, run my hand across it, so where the body was, body panel, it's smooth. You know, 
um, where I ran it across other bits which I've done work on sometimes it's it's um, I mean it's smooth but for example just here you can feel there's a little bit of a bulge which you don't really feel in in the main panel so it's not perfect from that sort of sense um, but but you know it feels smooth and good and all that so yeah so I think we're gonna call that done um, on this side and I know the door fits I should probably test that but I'm not going to do it tonight but I should probably make sure it still fits um, so I think what we will do next uh, given that the back is in the light I think what we'll do is we'll deal with the boot area and clean that off next then we'll turn the car around so we can do the other side and the front and I know I'm going to have to do work on that door over there. So although it opens and shuts okay, it really sticks out of the bottom. So I'm going to have to do something to make it fit a bit better. Yeah, so I think that's probably the process we're going to go through. Um, I just need to decide if I'm happy with this and I'll decide that tomorrow. Um, 